Heyo, how you guys doing? And welcome to another installment of Returning Weapons to Black Ops 2. Now, this episode we have the MP7 and a little bit of background information here. It was only in this game, this was the first Call of Duty that it was in, but I mean we've seen an MP9, a TMP, very similar weapons, but they actually, this is the first primary weapon of its sort um, to be in a Call of Duty. A little bit of real life information about the weapon. The type of gun it is, it's a personal defense weapon, it's a submachine gun, and it's a machine pistol. Its place of origin is in Germany and it has been used by 10 countries including Albania, Australia, Austria, Croatia, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Jordan, Malaysia, Norway, Oman, Republic of Korea, United Kingdom, and the United States. Whew, that was a mouthful. It's been used in the war in Afghanistan from 2001 to the present time. Its manufacturer is Heckler and & Koch and it has been produced ever since 2001 until the present time. Its weight is 1.2 kilograms or 2.65 pounds with a 20 round empty magazine without the um, without the magazine is 1.9 kilograms or 4.9 pounds. That makes, yeah, okay. Uh, length, 638 millimeters, 25 or 25.1 inches. With the stock extended, with the stock collapsed, it is 415 millimeters or 16.3 inches. The barrel length is 180 millimeters or 7.1 inches. Its width is 51 millimeters or 2 inches. And its height is 169.5 millimeters or 6.7 inches. It is gas operated short stroke piston and a rotating bolt. That is the action. Its rate of fire is 950 rounds per minute. Its velocity is 730 meters per second or 2,411 feet per second. Its effective range is 200 meters or 656 feet. And its fe feed system is a 20 or 40 round box magazine. So this gun is definitely a well well-rounded weapon it's got an insane amount of velocity it's good from up to 656 feet that's pretty it's pretty nice it's really light not too long not too wide and it it must be pretty good because they're still manufacturing it and it's been used in over 10 countries that's that's pretty insane um now a little bit about this gun in modern warfare 3 as you can see in this gameplay i'm running around with the extended mags and the silencer. I feel that is the best way to use this weapon. Now, if you're going for a more, you know, range effective or, I don't know, more, like, like you can, a, a little bit more range effective or just more proficient, I would definitely use the red dot sight. I don't know, it just seemed to hit targets from a lot farther away and definitely more accurate um, of a shot. Now, what do I suggest using with this weapon? I suggest using the Specialist Strike Package to use its full ability. Knife fail there. Um, I feel that you can get every little bit of aspect out of this gun if you do use the Specialist Package because you definitely are going to need more ammo because this, this gun just unloads. Its magazine is ginormous. You can take out three to four people with one of these extended mags. And it it has been called the mini ACR of this weapon or of this game, mainly because it's just so range effective, so damage effective. The kick is not that bad. I you can throw attachments as a proficiency on this gun, and it will do absolutely fine. Uh, I definitely recommend using attachments ac actually, because the kick of this gun is not not that bad to a point where you need to use kick. If you throw range on it, it just makes this gun ten times better. It's absolutely insane. Uh, melee, you know, that's not really a big deal. But I would definitely either go with attachments or range because you can get its full ability out of this thing. I mean, if you do want to get, like, no kick whatsoever, you can use kick. Because if you do use kick, you will not get any kick out of this gun. It is absolutely great. I'd say my overall rating for this weapon in this game is a 9. It is that good of a gun. I just absolutely love it. What should they do to this in Black Ops 2 to, to balance it out? Now, I think a lot of people have been complaining about the AC, or 
I was almost called it the ACR because it's so much like the ACR. A lot of people have been complaining that the MP7 is too good, you know, because they're too busy getting pwned by it in the face, get knifed, noob. But I find it to be perfectly well balanced. You know, it's not too good, not too bad. I mean, it's right in the middle. What they could do, though, is make it a little bit more like an SMG. It is more on the assault rifle side. I mean, it has a lot of bullets. It has great range. And it's just an overall beast of a gun. I mean, that's more of an assault rifle. The submachine gun, you know, the, the rate of fire is a lot higher. The mag size isn't that big, and it doesn't shoot that far. This gun, you can hit a guy all the way across the map. And, you know, it's it's not not normal for an SMG. Um, they could also upgrade the iron sights. I don't find the iron sights too useful on this gun. That's the only downside to it. I don't like the iron sights at all, but they are usable. And, you know, you don't have to always use the red dot sight. You'll just be a lot more on target with that thing. If you want to see the previous guns I did, I did two shotguns, the Striker and the Spass 12. Next will be the M4, and after that, the M16. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It would mean a lot if you could leave a like and subscribe. There's an annotation on the screen to do that now. I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, please let me know what I can do better, what I could do you know, to make your viewing experience better, get the knife for the last kill. And guys, I will catch you later with the next confirmed weapon. My name is Josh, and I will see you guys later. Peace.